Hi Sajil, how are you? Hello ma'am, I'm fine. Uh, Sajil, what is your qualification background? Uh, yeah ma'am, so I have done my integrated uh, MSc in Biotechnology from University of Pune mm -hmm. and I graduated in uh, 2017. Mm -hmm. So uh, after doing Biotechnology, so why, how you like came to choose like IP is the right career choice for you? So actually we happen to have a a 2-3 credit course on uh, IP in our final semester so mm -hmm. that's when I got acquainted with this field mm -hmm. and I found it really interesting because it's a very good combination of uh, technical knowledge and to some extent legal knowledge mm -hmm. so at that time I wasn't genuinely interested in uh, IP but mm -hmm. I wanted to go for R&D but later on as I explored this uh, field Mm -hmm. So I started liking it and that's why I enrolled for this course. So how you choose like you, you didn't went for research or PhD, still you like choose IP which most of the people think it's like law and everything. So wasn't it like, uh, was it difficult for you to understand? Uh, not really difficult because uh, as I told we had a course so mm. the basics were set up for us. It wasn't a completely new field for me mm. and secondly I did not want to opt for bench work. Mm -hmm. uh, I, like, I, I'm interested in R&D but uh, I, I don't see myself doing bench work even after 5 or 6 years. Mm -hmm. so, uh, so I was looking for other options and mm -hmm. uh, I thought that IP would be a really uh, good option to pursue. Mm -hmm. So how, because you told me that you have studied little bit of IP in your college. Yeah. So how the study in college is different from the what course you are learning here? So basically we had it as a part of a, like a subset of a, a bigger course so mm -hmm. it was uh, the, the lectures were very basic in nature and it was only theoretical knowledge but the course here uh, gives you a lot of uh, practical skills uh, mm -hmm. apart from the theoretical knowledge so mm -hmm. basically it helps you to uh, learn how to apply what you uh, read in the books and all. So are you happy with the decision that rather than going for a PhD you are making your career in IT? Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you have learned a lot of topics. So what was the most interesting topic which you have learned here till now? Ma'am, for me, uh, patent drafting was the most interesting topic because other parts we had already read in theory and all but we never got a chance to draft anything and it was a very interesting experience especially the way you told to uh, design those mind maps and all that was a very good technique uh, which would you know really help us in uh, drafting the patents okay so any advice you want to give it to other biotechnology students uh, yeah so in india there's a mindset that uh, you know biotechnology doesn't have a good scope for like I agree to some extent that in R&D there are limited opportunities but that's not the only thing you can do after uh, pursuing a degree in biotech. So I want to uh, ask my uh, colleagues to explore other options as well and IP is one of the uh, you know, really good options you can opt for after a degree in biotech. Okay, one more thing I have a question for you because you are not from Mumbai. So you have yeah. come down from Pune to yeah. uh, Mumbai to attend this program. Yeah. So was it challenging for you to convince your family that you want to go to Mumbai and pursue some program? Uh, not really because my parents have always been supportive as far as education is concerned. Mm -hmm. And actually I've been in Mumbai for four years so they were pretty confident about it, uh, about it that I'll come and uh, you know I'll manage properly and mm -hmm. moreover it was just a matter of one week so mm -hmm. uh, yeah there was no issue regarding it. So uh, when you were deciding when you were learning about the program so when you were first told that you have to study this much in five days yeah. so uh, what was the first reaction was it was it for wa were you convinced that you were be able to study so much in five days? Um, I'm see, so there are two aspects to it. So one is about uh, just getting the information and second is, is to absorb it. Mm. So from your end, you have done a really great job. Like you have, uh, you know, tried to give as much as information in, in that limited span of time. Uh, on the first and second day, we found it a bit difficult to, you know, absorb so many things at a time. But as the course progressed, now we are very much comfortable with uh, the schedule and uh, we never really get bored in that duration of 10 to 6. <laughs> in fact, 5 days seems, seems like, okay, we have just learned a part of it. There's most to, more to explore. Alright, thank you Sajal and thank you so much for putting your trust into IRPT. Thank you. Thank you.